here tonight. The final states have been called in the presidential race a week and a half after Election Day. ABC News projecting Joe Biden to win Georgia and Arizona, while President Trump took North Carolina. The Electoral College vote now stands 306 for President-elect Biden and 232 for President Trump. Yet, President Trump is still not conceded, instead choosing to speak out this evening on the fight against the coronavirus. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest for us now in our top story at 10. After his longest stretch of silence since he took office, President Trump addressing the nation for the first time in more than a week, touting progress on a COVID vaccine. No medical breakthrough of this scope and magnitude has ever been achieved this rapidly, this quickly. He has still not conceded, but he did say this. This administration will not be going to a lockdown. Hopefully, the, the uh, whatever happens in the future, who knows which administration it will be. I guess time will tell. But. Speaker Nancy Pelosi slamming Republicans for joining the president in refusing to acknowledge Joe Biden as president-elect, even as the coronavirus is raging. The longer the Republicans keep up the charade, the further out of control the COVID crisis will sp spiral and more in danger Americans will be. The president's trade advisor on Fox Business this morning still pushing the long shot idea that Trump will win. We're moving forward here at the White House uh, under the assumption that there will be a second uh, Trump term. Biden's newly appointed chief of staff on MSNBC says there could be serious consequences with the General Services Administration still not accepting Biden as president-elect, therefore stalling the transition process. We're in a COVID crisis. The sooner we can get our transition experts into meetings with the folks who are planning that vaccination campaign, the more seamless the transition. At least 10 Republican senators are calling on the Trump administration to start providing classified briefings to President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Rena Roy, ABC News, Wilmington, Delaware.